After a long day of pivoting, there's still one more task to do. Pipettes are precision instruments that require good care for consistent results. Hi, I'm Fred, and in this part of our video series on liquid handling, we'll talk about pipette maintenance. It's important to send your pipette to a professional maintenance and calibration provider like EP Services at least once a year, perhaps even more often, depending on the kind of work you do and how often you use a pipette. But there are also some things you can do in the lab to make sure you enjoy an optimal piping experience. First, the visual check. Every day you should look closely at your pipette to check for any broken parts, visible corrosion, cracks or dirty spots. Well, this one looks good. Pipettes should also be cleaned every day. Just take a lint-free cloth, dampen it with 70% ethanol or a mild detergent and gently wipe the surface of your pipette. Be careful to clean all the parts, especially the tip of the cone. Afterwards, you should wipe off the cleaning reagent with a cloth soaked in distilled water. It's possible for the inside parts of your pipette to be contaminated. This can happen, for example, if you accidentally overpipe it or aerosols get in past the tip. In cases like these, you need to take apart the lower part of your pipette for cleaning. Taking apart and cleaning an Eppendorf pipette is pretty easy, but the steps may be different depending on the model. To learn how to take apart your particular pipette, take a look at the operating manual at eppendorf.com. We recommend cleaning the lower parts of your pipette at least once every quarter. When it comes to the maintenance of electronic pipettes, we have two recommendations. First, don't spray any cleaning reagents directly onto it. Instead, wipe it. By wiping instead of spraying, you can prevent the reagent from getting inside the pipette through the charging port. This is also better for your screen if you are using aggressive reagents that can damage the screen over time. Secondly, make sure you fully charge your pipette if you already know you won't be using it for a while. You should also replace the battery with a new one every three years. If you're working with living organisms, you should autoclave your pipette on a regular basis. All air cushion pipettes from Eppendorf are autoclavable. You can autoclave our mechanical pipettes fully and the lower part of the electronic ones. Most positive displacement tools cannot be autoclaved. The samples are already protected by a piston inside the tip that creates a hermetic seal between the sample and the instrument. To prevent your pipette cones from being contaminated with aerosols, we recommend storing your pipettes on the standing pipette holder, like this pipette carousel. Using a pipette carousel also makes it easy for you to keep a clean and well-organized workspace. And even better, it keeps your electronic pipettes charged. That's it. Now we've learned how to take care of our pipettes to enjoy them even longer. I hope to see you again in the next video.